Here, withered straws are made into flower baskets and the Chinese Shanghai Pass. All these art pieces were displayed in a high school classroom in northeast China's Jilin Province. They were all made by the teachers and students on their straw weave art classes, where students could learn the knowledge of this art form and skills of making straw figurines. The earliest straw weaving product in China dated back to about 7,000 years ago. But as technology advances, people use less straw weaving products nowadays. The school in Jilin opened this course in an effort to keep the students aware of such an amazing traditional art and to keep it alive. Zhong Shuying, a straw weave art teacher, is teaching her students how to make flower baskets and hats with straws. Threading, knotting, and lacing up, every student follows the instructions, and all are doing it wholeheartedly, even though some are still not that skillful. I like this class very much. We must be very patient and careful when making straw figurines. If we make a mistake in one step, the following steps will all be wrong. After having straw weave art classes, the students have known a lot about this art, and some have become very interested in it," said Miss Zhong. She added that this is a good way to inherit and promote this national intangible cultural heritage among Chinese teenagers. Straw weave art is usually unfamiliar to today's students. This class can let them know more and more about it. We hope that for those who are really interested in it, they can make their own contributions to the development of the straw weave art in the future.